It's well, welcome back. It's something that hasn't been done in at least 20 years. A new poll centered around asking people in Bear County about the issues that are most important to them. The KSET Revar Report Bear Facts poll is being released today. From approval ratings to input on companies that provide water, power, and public transportation, we want to hear from you. Our very own Steve Spreester is the one efforting this poll for KSAT. He joins us in studio along with political consultant Christian Archer and Robert Rivard from the Rivard Report for a debrief. Welcome, guys. And Steve, um, first of all, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you. Not, yeah, I never, see we you. never get to see yeah, you. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, so why, why is this so important? Has it ever been done in, or locally in such a long time? Well, and that's the thing. I mean, we talk about a lot of issues. We talk about public transportation. We talk about the aquifer. We talk about, you know, pre-K for SA. But there's no publicly released poll that's as transparent as this one will be that shows what do people in Bear County think about these issues? Do they want to take money away from an from the aquifer to put towards public transportation? I mean, it, we really get a feel not only for those issues, but also what do they think about the mayor? What's his approval rating? What do they think about the county judge? What do they think about the county sheriff? You know, those kind of issues that are out there. And the, the thing is, we're, we're going to do four of these a year. Okay. The first one is where the baseline starts. And we can see how public opinion moves from poll to poll. So we'll do four of them a year, and the first one comes out on February 11th, and it is a totally transparent process. 600 the questions, people? It's 600 people we want to ask. Uh, Christian knows a little bit more about the ins <laughs> and outs of that, but 600 people, 600 voting age people in San Antonio. Yeah. All right, Robert, you've been around in San Antonio for a long time, covering all kinds of different events and politics and everything from the days of, of the San Antonio light. That's right. All ages both, because yeah. I don't the light. Yeah. So, yeah. We're, so we're in this together. And then, of course, the Express News, now that you've had your own Rivard report. But why do you want to get involved in something like this? What, what attracted you to this? I think it's important for voters and elected leaders uh, to have a, um, uh, an independent, credible poll. I think last week, the release of the SA Connect poll which uh, reported that more than 60% of voters were likely to approve the one eight cent sales tax for VIA, that raised a lot of eyebrows. Uh, first of all, the poll was done in September, so I don't think it's legitimate anymore, but also there was no background released about how the poll was really conducted. I don't think the questions were asked in the way we're going to ask questions. So as Steve said, when we hit the market February 11th, I think we're going to give the community a much more realistic snapshot in this moment in time where people really stand on the issues. And, and Christian, you know, you've been involved politically here locally for so long now. And how do you ensure that there is no political agenda in this polling? Well, in order to have a legitimate poll, you've got to ask, you know, transparent across the board questions where you're not putting your, your finger and tilting what the results are. So we want to make sure that all of the questions are transparent, that they're open, and that we actually get the data that we're seeking, which is what does the community feel about certain issues? That's the whole purpose of, of what we're doing, is to really make sure that our policymakers have a data-driven tool to be able to say, look, the regular people think that this is the most important issue. It might be education, it might be transportation, there might be hidden gems in there, homelessness, Steve's done a, a huge story on, on homelessness. Um, you know, what are the things that really matter to people that are sitting at home that are saying the politicians or the policymakers aren't paying attention to what's important to me? So we want, uh, the whole goal of this is to really make sure that there's community engagement, civic engagement, people feel like, hey, I'm, I'm being heard. Elected officials are hearing that we support this or we don't support that. Uh, and so, equally targeting like certain areas around the city. That's what I was going to point out is it, the, the beauty of this, in my opinion, is what matters to somebody on the northwest side may not matter to somebody on the southwest exactly. side. Exactly. Yeah. So we're breaking it into the four county commissioner districts. Uh, so it's four different districts, and you see what's the most important issue to somebody in this district, somebody in this district, somebody here, somebody here. And we expect, as diverse as this community is, that there's going to be a, a diversity of opinion when it comes to certain things as well. You know, and Sarah, one other, one other thing on the, uh, on the barefax.org website and KSAT and Rivard Report, you'll be able to actually dive into the demographics. So you'll no, not only know geographical areas, you'll know what Democrats and what Republicans think, what different age groups think, 
what, what different ethnicities, from African Americans, Hispanics, and certainly the geographic areas that Steve was alluding to. That's what I want to know. The yeah. nitty gritty. Where does it break right. down it's to? It's, it's, all, it's, it's all, all there. Real, real quick, but how important is it for the community leaders to know about this poll and realize that this is, this is what people are, are thinking and are feeling? We have talked to people in the, the county commissioner's court and city council that say we don't have the money to do this. I mean, it is an expensive outlay, which is, you know, Christian organization and the Rivard reporting case that are committed to it, but they don't have the money to to poll their constituents to find out what are the most important issues to them. David, I would say that uh, policymakers should be acting on a data-driven information. When you're trying to convince voters to approve a tax or shift a tax, you don't want to go with your gut. You don't want to go with what people that you surround yourself with are thinking or saying. You want data, you want real information, and we're gonna do the best possible job that we can do to give people the facts. And with, real quick. I, I just add one other thing, and, and what we don't wanna do is, is get stuck on the small stuff. Uh -huh. You know, we're the, one of the fastest growing cities in the country. So let's be focused on the big things, the things that really matter to people. And, and I think that the results of the poll will, will help shape policy in the, into the future about what really matters to people across Bear County. And Dave, all three Dave, of these organizations we ought to be able to get some in-depth, detailed so. and information. The pollster is Dave Metz from FM3. Okay. He's out of California. He's polled Bear County before. He's polled around the country. So he's a very reputable pollster. Well, thank you guys so much Appreciate for all this information. Yeah. Look, looking forward to it. Yeah. I just didn't want people to think I was going to be picking up the, po the phone calling. Well, that would be fun, too. <laughs> because that would be anything but scientific. <laughs> it would be interesting. It would be interesting. Yeah. Some good answers. Yeah, there you go.